Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you use an object with a ton of different textures in Apple's photogrammetry framework for macOS Monterey and Xcode 13. So this was the puffer fish that was used for the Apple photogrammetry framework in this particular video. So this was the final result in Xcode. The framework still has issues with super sharp textures like these spikes. So if we zoom in here. So these are obviously much more detailed on the real object, but here they get kind of rounded off in the corner and you can see there's a lot of clipping going on. The texture of the base of the puffer fish actually looks pretty good. Now the bottom is a completely different story. As you can see, it looks like they're still having issues with filling in the bottom of the object using this framework. So let me change the sky to white. It might be a little bit easier to see. So the bottom is still completely hollowed out, even though I took pictures of the bottom and the top of the fish. And I'll show you what the API came up with for a 3D model for the front of the fish now. So again, you can see the lighting is actually pretty good on the surface, the reflections, shadows, and here's the little googly eye that we saw earlier. Whoops, they come out pretty well, but this framework still has an issue with generating the sides and especially the bottom and the underside. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell to be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching.